आराधना करूं तेरी आराधना करूं आप क्षमा कर जीवन दे दया की आचना करूं तेरी आराधना करूं brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus I welcome each and every one of you for this Eucharistic adoration each one of us have come here not because that you wanted to be here on this day but God has chosen you it is not by chance but by the choice of God praise the Lord Hallelujah. 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 In your busy schedule, in your work, in your schedules that you had, you have given time for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, today we are going to listen to those wisdom of words of God with the theme, Jesus, who is going to be the master of my life, is going to give me that courage and strength to rebuke sin and Satan. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you love God? Love God? Yes. Father. You all love God? Yes. Father. Each one of us love God. Yes. But now as we praise and thank God, let us wholeheartedly participate. Let us wholeheartedly surrender and give ourselves the praises and thanks to this great God as we sing this beautiful hymn Atyunnata Simmasana Navukal because this great God who left his heavenly throne for you and for me came down in a human form he was like a slave when he was slaughtered and he took all our sins upon him and he died on that cross such a great God we are going to praise and thank him as we sing this beautiful hymn. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We 
नृसिंहासनम पै
blessing as we are in the presence of you. Lord, as we are going to know your words of wisdom right now, fill us with your spirit, enrich us with your wisdom and knowledge to know your truths and to hold on to those truths and walk with your revelations. Bless these children of yours whom you have chosen, not by chance, but by your choice. Lord, enkindle their spirits. Let your enlightenment be upon them that they may receive that anointing and blessing and carry forward your blessings in their life as you have prepared them to this words of wisdom let them hold on to it and walk in your truth we make this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Amen Amen, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord Praise the Lord Hallelujah 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 Kindly be seated So my question to you, how are you all? How are you all? Blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So always the answer that I get is, fine, Father. So I got a different answer. We are blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in the presence of the Lord, each one of us are blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have that joy, that anointing when we are in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, today we are going to know those wisdom that the Lord is going to teach us how to make our Lord as our master and rebuke sin and Satan. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Father, sin, we just now finished our uh, sacrament of reconciliation, just now finished our confession, just now I attended the retreat. But what we do, after committing our, I mean, after committing our sin, we go for confession, and after that confession, what happens? We become saints? We become saints? No. Same old life will start. How many days will be? Two days, three days. My dear brothers and sisters, why this happens? Because we are not rebuking the sin, the sin as well as the Satan, which is making us to be in the trap of the sin, which is making us to be trap of its own clutches. We are not rebuking it. Rather, what we are doing is that, it's okay, this is my life. I should start living my practical life. My traditional Christian life. Sorry, my dear friends. For that you are not been called. For that I am not been called. How many of you fast? Okay. You all fast. Abstain from um, non-veg or abstain from different kinds. 40 days, no alcohol. 40 days, no smoking. 40 days, no meat. Good. I really appreciate but this fasting, this abstinence, this self-sacrifice that you do for 40 days should give you the fruit for the entire life. Not just 40 days. Jesus fought, fasted for 40 days and he had the strength to rebuke the Satan when Satan came and tempted. Not just the three temptation, but the rest of his life he had the temptation. But he had the strength to rebuke it. There were people who were ridiculing him. There were people who were making fun of him. They were saying he's a friend of tax collectors, sinners. He's a friend of the drunkards, prostitutes. 
Yet, they said, he is a blasphemer. With the authority of the demon, he preaches. These were the words that they uttered. But he did not keep quiet. He knew for sure what was his mission. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Since he knew his mission, since he knew what was the will of God, he was able to receive that strength from his father and he was able to rebuke the evil one. Now how about you? 40 days of fasting, no alcohol, no smoking, no nothing. On the 48th day, Christ has risen. Come on, Daru Pio. Celebrate, Christ, uh, celebrate Easter. That is not the celebration. Celebration is celebrating the risen Christ in your life. He has made you to rise from your clutches of sin. Brought you the life of eternal. Brought you the salvation, redemption. How are you going to respond? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In order to make Jesus as our master in the coming days of our life, can we take Ephesians chapter 6, verses 16? Ephesians chapter 6, verses 16. Yes. With all of these, yes. take the shield of faith. Take the shield of faith. <clears throat> with which you will be able to quench with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil all one all the flaming arrows of the evil one evil one the moment you say that i am following god i am following jesus i am going to be his son i am going to be his daughter the evil one will not be keeping quiet do you think he will keep quiet no he will be starting to throw his arrows he will shoot his arrows the flaming arrows. And how you will be quenching it? By having your deeper trust in Him. By having your deeper faith in Him. I have my master who gives me the strength. I have my master who can rebuke those evil. That strength I should draw from Him. For that what should I do? James chapter 4 verses 8. James chapter 4 verses 8. Where the verses says, each and every one of us, draw near to God. Draw near to me. And he will draw near to and you. And he will draw near to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Are you awake? Alert? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise, praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. The moment you say, praise you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, the evil one should run away from your life. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Because we are not ordinary children of God. We are extraordinary. We are precious child of God. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Can we take Ephesians chapter 6, verses 17? Yes. Take the helmet of salvation. Take the helmet of salvation. And the sword of the spirit. And sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. Which is word the, word of, the of word, God. word of God. My dear brothers and sisters, have the habit of reading the word of God. I know some of you read the word of God. But take that word of God. Live by the word of God. He says in Gospel of John chapter 6, verse 63, My word will give you life and spirit. Psalm 119, verses 105 says, The word of God is a lamp to my feet, light to my path. How many of you dwell in this word of God? With this, I can rebuke the sin and Satan. What we do is that when Satan comes and tempts us, come on. My dear friend, you are tempting me. Okay, I am falling to your temptation. I just go by with him. I just fall with his praise. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to be watchful. We need to be watchful. We know what happened for this two years, the pandemic. How many people lost their life? They were not prepared. 
how many people whom we know they already are not with us my dear brothers and sisters we do not know when we are how are we going to prepare ourselves for that eternal life are we going to be the traditionalist christian just celebrate the easter as each year i celebrate or i'm going to take jesus with me and spoke for the life that i'm going to live after the season of lent also Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, let us realize. Let us check our life. Where are we heading? Where are we heading? Father, come on, Father. Let us be practical. We have to live this life, Father. Let us be practical. We need to relax certain times the spirituality that is your ideology, that is the worldly ideology. You can't be pacifying your spiritual life. if you are gathering so many things for yourself your wealth where your soul will be praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah 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 my dear brothers and sisters let us realize ourselves receive jesus who is going to be the master of your life and rebuke sin and satan and how you can rebuke by having a deeper trust in him by having this word as the power the word of god is alive and active it is like a double edged sword it will pierce your soul hebrews chapter 4 verses 12 and we all know it and how powerful is the word of god and it is that power of the word of god jesus cured so many jesus anointed so many jesus blessed so many but we fail to follow it today is an opportunity that the lord is giving each and every one of us it's not only for you to go and proclaim to those people who have not come today to have jesus as the master not this 40 days of lent but henceforth also praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah but by having jesus as the master what can i do is that i can claim victory claim victory over sin claim victory over satan because jesus is my master jesus is my savior jesus my is my redeemer who can do everything sometimes we call jesus we call our god as our savior our mother father brother sister so many relationship we call our god but do we really mean do we really mean when i call him as a brother do i treat my god as my brother when i call him as a sister do i treat him as a sister do, when i call him as a friend do i treat him as a friend when i call him as a master do i treat him as a master of my life revelations chapter 3 verses 20 can we read revelations chapter 3 verses 20 listen listen this is the problem what is the problem in us is that we don't listen the first problem is we don't listen the word of god starts with that is revelation chapter 3 verses 20 listen i don't listen only god has to listen to me i have so many things to say but you won't listen when you listen what happens yes I am standing at the door knocking. I am standing at the door of your heart knocking. If you hear my voice, if you hear my voice and open the door, and open the door, I will come into you. I'll come into you and eat with you. And eat with you and you with me. And you with me. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This can happen. when i listen to him i should listen when he is knocking he is knocking when he is knocking you should listen if you are busy in your own world if you are busy with your own worldly ideology you are so called the practical life you are so called the traditionalistic life you will not listen to god 
You not listen to God. Today the Lord is giving you an opportunity to listen to Him. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you listen, He will come with you. He will sit with you. He will dine with you and you with Him. Go and proclaim to those people who are not come today. Tell them to listen to God. Open up their ears. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Can we take James chapter 1 verses 14 and 15? My dear friends, see, we want to have the victory over, this, over sin. But sometimes what happens is that we fall prey to those sins. The Lord today wants us to be aware how this sin comes, how this sin takes us into its control. Can we take James chapter 1 verses 14 and 15? But one is tempted mm. by one's own desire. So one is tempted by, by one's own desire. Desire. Don't say, why this temptation God? Don't ever say. God has brought me this temptation. Don't ever say. One is tempted by one's own desire. desire. Ah. Being lured and enticed by Being it. Being lured and enticed by it. By it. Then, mm. when that desire has conceived, when that desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin. It gives birth to sin. And that sin, and that sin, when it is fully grown, when it is fully grown, gives birth to death. Gives birth to death. My dear brothers and sisters, simple. The desire is, now the moment I say, I ask you, how many of you like, now already the, uh, the preparation for Ramzan has already started, how many of you like Halim? Halim, who will say that I don't like father? The moment you say Halim, my mouth is watering father. Sin is like this, like your Halim. It tastes good, looks good, Nicely garnished, and sin looks so beautiful. Sin looks very handsome. It creates a desire in you. And until and unless you eat halim, you're not at peace. Maybe after this adoration, you may go on the way. Father said about halim, some more I should eat it. So, what it does the sin, unless and until I eat this. Halim, I'm not satisfied. So unless and until I commit that sin, I'm not satisfied. I kind of an enticement within me. Then what it does, it leads me to commit sin. sin. When I commit sin, that sin leads to death. Wages of sin is? Death. Wages of sin is? Death. death. Wages of sin is? Death. And we all know it. Death doesn't mean that my physical death, death of my conscience. Death of my conscience, anything and everything I can be. However I want, I can live. That is the reason Pope John Paul said, Pope John Paul II said, the world has lost the sense of sin. Anything and everything can be done. Today is a wake-up call for each and every one of you. If you don't wake up today, when? Tomorrow? Day after tomorrow? Or maybe after a week? After a month? After two months? After a year? Are you sure about your next minute? Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Today the Lord wants you to realize and come away from your clutches of your sin that the Satan is keeping within those sins. Say to Satan, because Satan will not keep quiet. Ah, the moment you attend the adoration, the moment you feel sorry, the moment you go for confession, you will not sin. Let me see how many days. He will challenge you. He will challenge you. What is your response going to be? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, when you go into the hands of this Satan, 
He destroys your anointing. He kills your blessing. He will just drag you from the presence of God. Today the Lord is making each and every one of us to be awake and alert. Because He is awake and alert. He doesn't want each and every one of you to be harmed. We read in Psalm 121. Can we take Psalm 121? Psalm 121. Verses 2 onwards. <clears throat> My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Hmm. He will not let your foot be moved. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps you will not slumber. That means what? He will not doze. Sometimes we doze right in front of God. The moment I get sleep, the moment priests start preaching, yes Lord, yes Lord, but he never slumbers. He is not lazy. He is always alert and awake. Huh. He who keeps Israel, he who keeps Israel, will neither slumber. He nor, will neither slumber nor sleep. Nor sleep. Verses five. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade. The Lord is your shade at your right, your right hand. hand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Means. The Lord is following 24 bar 7 that you may not hit yourself with anything. That you may not be moved. He is alert, attentive. He is awake for your sake. He is not sleeping. He is not resting. He is awake for you and for me. How are you going to be awake and alert? To get rid of those sin and the traps of the Satan and hold on to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Shall we all kneel down before God right now? Saying to Jesus, Jesus, here I am your son. Here I am your daughter. You are my refuge. You are my fortress, Lord. Take control of my life. I'm surrendering myself. Kneel down before God. Surrender your life, your situation, your circumstances. God knows who you are. Your hidden life is known by God. I may not know you. God knows you. 24 past 7, the Lord travels with your life. He knows what you do, what you don't do. He knows your likes and unlikes. He knows your happiness, your sadness. He travels with each and every moment. Reveal yourself. My dear brothers and sisters, the sinners, the tax collectors, the drunkards, the prostitutes who travel with Jesus, they reveal their sickness of sin. And the Lord was able to heal them. Today, you are called to reveal it to the Lord so that He can heal you by His word. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, like Peter and uh, John and James, who went and said to the paralytic, We do not have gold or silver, but we have Jesus of Nazareth. Get up and walk. Likewise, I say to each and every one of you, I don't have anything in my hands, but I have Jesus. Receive his grace, receive his anointing right now as he blesses you. Amen. Receive that anointing and blessing and rebuke the sin and Satan from your life. You are not the children of those sins, those guilt, those depression and suppression that you have to carry. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Romans chapter 10 verses 13 says, If anyone calls on to my name, I will save them. Call on to the name of Jesus, your master, your savior. As we sing this beautiful hymn, you are my refuge, you are my strength, you are my fortress, you are my God.
where we are lord master with our own weaknesses with our own fragileness with the baggages that we carry till today lord as this children of yours come to you lord and surrender their life surrender their family surrender their situation the circumstances surrender their problems and difficulties lord give them the wisdom that is required lord yes lord. give them that anointing and blessing lord master amen lord give them and fill them with your power lord master amen. so that they are blessed by your anointed life lord master amen lord if not to you where they will go lord master you have the words of eternal life and it is that word that has brought them and it is that word made them to realize lord master they're not going to be into the clutches of sin anymore they're not going to be in the clutches of the satan anymore amen they're going to be your sons and daughters amen to proclaim you through their life lord master amen it is not just for 40 days lord but you're going to carry them through all their life their life lord master amen, amen. as they receive you as they receive your blessing lord you are their master you are our master who saves us from all the clutches of the sin and satan give us that power lord master to rebuke that sin and satan give us that anointing and the power to rebuke satan and the sin lord no one here is willing to commit sin and no one here is willing to be part of the satan but the situation the circumstances they are dragged for the prey of the sin and satan lord lord you bless them you build a wall of fire around them lord master amen so that they are not attacked by evil one Lord you have said in Zechariah chapter 2 verses 8 if anyone touches you that is the apple of my eye these are your chosen children lord amen no one has the right to touch them lord you cover them with your precious blood you cover them with your anointing and bless you said it in Exodus chapter 14 verses 14 i will fight for you amen today as they surrender lord master You fight for them Lord. You fight for them in each and every situation of their life as they surrender. As they submit to your holy will Lord. Bless these children who are there right in front of you. Bless them abundantly. Give them the grace that is required to carry forward your life. Amen. Your plans Lord Master. Amen. Strengthen them. Give them the courage Lord Master to face all the challenges. Amen. So that with your anointing and blessing they go forward as a joyful Christian, a joyful follower of you Lord Master. Amen. Oh Jesus as they surrender bless them. Anoint them. Amen. Give them the necessary graces. <coughs> Make this prayer. mighty name of jesus amen 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 praise you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus we love you jesus we love you we trust you jesus hallelujah 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 my dear brothers and sisters you all know bartimius was blind and he was not born blind he wo- he became blind on the course of his life he knew for sure what was the value of the sight and when he heard that jesus was passing by who was doing the wondrous work he shouted jesus son of david have mercy on me others said be quiet do not disturb the master but all the more he shouted jesus son of david have mercy on me when you shout out to the lord praise you jesus thank you jesus the lord comes the lord comes for your aid the lord stands by you 
and gives you the strength when you call upon him Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, when you surrender all your blunders, when you surrender all your blunders, the Lord does wonders in your life. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let us kneel before the Lord as we receive the blessing of God right now and ask the Lord, not just this one hour, to carry this God throughout our life, to carry the presence of God. As I always say, be conscious of the presence of God. Relate with the presence of God. Talk to the presence of God and carry the presence of God. Whenever the Israelites carry the presence of the Lord, they had the victory. They had the victory in their life. Carry the presence of God. You will have victory over sin and Satan. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. The Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let us kneel down and receive the blessing of God. sacred mysteries of thy body and blood that we may ever experience within us the fruit of thy redemption who lives and reigns world without end Amen
divine praises blessed be god blessed be his holy name blessed be jesus christ true god and true man blessed be the name of jesus blessed be his most sacred heart blessed be his most precious blood blessed be jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar blessed be the holy spirit the paraclete blessed be the great mother of god mary most holy blessed be her holy and immaculate conception blessed be her glorious assumption blessed be the name of mary virgin and mother blessed be saint joseph of most chaste spouse blessed be god in his angels and in his saints let's all rise for the final hymn Father, I take this opportunity to thank Father 